hydrogen gas reacting with iodine gas to give hydrogen iodide in a closed container so now that extra hydrogen what i've added is not there because only forward reaction was favored it will try to increase the temperature and favor which reaction exothermic reaction increase in pressure favors forward direction decrease in pressure favors backward direction my dear students welcome back to session 4 on the chapter equilibrium last class we derived the kp expression we learned the relationship between kp and kc also the application of equilibrium constant we studied isn't it today we shall study about the factors affecting equilibrium first we need to know lee chatelier's principle very 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 important you can see in the previous paper it is repeated several times so what is lee chatelier's principle when external stress is applied on a system at dynamic equilibrium the system shifts the position of equilibrium to nullify the effect of stress now how do i understand this i just read it isn't it now for example there is a system at equilibrium okay now i am going to apply some stress maybe the stress is increase in temperature or it can be increase in pressure or decrease in pressure or increasing the concentration of reactants or products any one concentration will change or will suddenly add a catalyst okay so i am going to put some stress on the system the system has to nullify the stress so what it does it shifts the equilibrium so what is lee chatelier's principle when a stress is applied on any system at equilibrium then the system will try to nullify the effect of the stress by shifting the equilibrium or there is one more way of putting lee chatelier's principle that is if the system at equilibrium experiences a change in concentration temperature or total pressure the equilibrium will shift in order to minimize that change and a new equilibrium is established so it is just like us we have a routine and suddenly there is a change which is happening we'll take some time to come back to normal isn't it yes or no so if there is a stress in our life also will come you know will take some time to take it up and then uh, for us to come back to normal it will take some time same way here also the system which is at equilibrium will want to just nullify the effect of the stress what we have applied and how does it do we learn now. okay so the stress which can be applied or the factors which can disturb the equilibrium can be temperature pressure concentration of the reactants or the products catalyst i shall explain that actually doesn't um, it's not a particular stress or something but i will come into the details of catalyst okay next is effect of concentration change on a system so what if what will the system do which is at equilibrium if i change the concentration so i'll take an example of hydrogen gas reacting with iodine gas to give hydrogen iodide in a closed container at constant temperature now this system is at equilibrium so the amount of hydrogen reacting with iodine to form hydrogen iodide is equal to the amount of hydrogen iodide you know decomposing to give hydrogen and iodine the system is at an equilibrium now what i will do is i will slowly add hydrogen extra hydrogen i will add to the system okay now it was at equilibrium now i change the concentration i put extra hydrogen so what the equilibrium is disturbed now now that extra hydrogen what i have added you know the system has to get rid of it so what will happen how can the extra hydrogen be nullified it will favor forward reaction whatever hydrogen was added it will react with the amount of iodine which is there to form hydrogen iodide 
So now that extra hydrogen what I have added is not there because only forward reaction was favored. Now for example, if I add hydrogen iodide, what will happen? Again the equilibrium will be disturbed. But the extra hydrogen iodide what I added will be immediately decomposed to give hydrogen and iodine. So what will happen when the concentration is changed? So if I increase the concentration of the reactants, shifts the equilibrium in the direction of forward reaction. If I add more reactants, the forward direction is favored. If I add more products, concentration of products, if I increase, then backward direction or the backward reaction is favored. Okay. So this is how it will nullify the effect of change in concentration. Now we will see one more stress. Effect of change in temperature. Now when the temperature of the system is increased at equilibrium, the system tends to decrease the temperature by absorption of heat and endothermic reaction is favored. Now for example, I will take the forward reaction is endothermic and the backward reaction is exothermic. Okay, what is it? Forward reaction is endothermic. Okay, backward reaction is exothermic. So if I increase the temperature, that means I, heat is increasing, isn't it? So that increased heat has to be nullified. So what the system will do? It will absorb that heat and favors which type, which side direction? The reaction which is endothermic will be favored. Forward or backward, but endothermic reaction will be favored. Correct? If I decrease the temperature, now temperature I have decreased, so the system has to increase that little change what I have done. So what it will do? It will try to increase the temperature and favor which reaction? Exothermic reaction. Okay? For thus, you can see increase in temperature favors endothermic reaction and decrease in temperature favors exothermic reaction. It can be forward or backward, whichever direction it is. I'll take an example here of nitrogen dioxide gas. It is a brownish colored gas and when it dimerizes, okay, when two molecules will behave like one molecule, we call it as dimerization. When it dimerizes, it forms N2O4 gas, which is colorless. Now you can see the forward direction, it is exothermic reaction minus delta H minus bardagayeno. It is an exothermic. Heat is liberated. So forward direction is an exothermic reaction and backward direction is endothermic reaction. Now what we will do? When temperature is increased, when temperature is increased, which reaction will be favored? Endothermic reaction will be favored. So backward direction reaction will be favored. So you can see when temperature is increased to oppose the increase in temperature system favors endothermic reaction. Therefore, when the above system is heated, the system in equilibrium I am heating, decomposition of N2O4 is favored and backward direction will be favored because backward direction is endothermic. Now I'll decrease the temperature, then forward direction is favored. More of N2O4 will be formed. Okay. So this is how effect of temperature is there on any reaction or any system at equilibrium. Next we'll be learning about effect of change in pressure. Now what is pressure? When the, when there is gases in my, uh, system at equilibrium, these gases will hit the wall of the container and that is the pressure which is developed, correct? So if the number of moles of gases are more, that means the pressure will increase, it will be more and if the number of moles of gases are less, then the pressure will decrease because gas, gases are less, obviously the pressure also will be less. So what happens here? If pressure of the system is increased at equilibrium, the system tends to decrease the pressure by decreasing the number of moles. Okay. So increase the pressure 
there will be decrease in number of moles and decrease in pressure there will be increase in number of moles of the reactants or the products okay so what is it how to understand it better i shall take an example of carbon monoxide gas reacts with hydrogen to form methane gas and water gas that is the vapor water vapor now this is a balanced chemical equation here the number of moles are 4 and here the number of moles are 2 okay now i will increase the pressure okay when the pressure is increased the volume decreases and favors the reaction with the decrease in number of moles. The volume will decrease and what? It favors the decrease in number of moles. So, pressure when I increase, forward direction is favored because on the reactant side I have only 2 moles. So, the number of moles will be less. Okay. Then if I decrease the pressure, what? If I decrease the pressure, then the backward direction will be favored. That is only in this example I am telling, okay. Backward direction will be favored because my reactant side, the number of moles are more. So, pressure will be increased and thus it will nullify the decrease in pressure what we have applied. So, I will repeat. In this example, if you see, if I increase the pressure, Forward direction is favored so that the number of moles are reduced. If I decrease the pressure, backward reactions are favored so that the number of moles of the gas is increasing. So this is how the system nullifies the effect of pressure. I hope you are following. Okay. Next we will see the effect of catalyst. Catalyst has no effect on the position of the equilibrium because it alters both forward and backward direction. Now, if I add a catalyst which is at equilibrium or if I add a catalyst for a reaction, equilibrium will be attained faster. Maybe uh, normally without a catalyst, that particular system or that particular reaction took 20 minutes to attain equilibrium, 20 minutes. But adding a catalyst, it might happen just in 10 minutes. So, the time required to attain equilibrium will be reduced because it will increase forward di direction reaction as well as the backward reaction in equal extent. Thus, it will not alter the position of equilibrium. Okay. Next is effect of rare gases. Now, if I add inert gases at constant volume, okay does not change the partial pressure or the molar concentration of the substance involved in the reaction because it does not take part in the reaction they are inert no so it does not take part in the reaction therefore addition of inert gases has no effect on position of equilibrium at constant volume so if i am keeping the volume constant then i am adding an inert gas or the rare gases into the reaction, then there is no effect in the position of the equilibrium. Okay. So, I hope you have understood this. We will take an example of formation of ammonia. Okay. This reaction is an exothermic reaction. I have one mole of nitrogen reacting with three moles of hydrogen to give two moles of ammonia. So, what will happen if I increase the pressure, okay, effect of pressure. If I increase the pressure, okay, increases the rate of forward direction because here I have 4 moles, here I have 2 moles. So, if I increase the pressure, more and more ammonia will be formed, okay. Since it is accompanied by decrease in number of gaseous mole, hence equilibrium shifts to the right, decreases the pressure, increases the rate of backward reaction. So, increase in pressure favors forward direction, decrease in pressure favors backward direction. Okay. Next, we will see the effect of concentration. So, increase the concentration. If I increase the concentration of the reactants, more it will favor the forward di direction. If I increase the concentration of the products, it will favor the backward direction. Okay. So, that is the effect of concentration. Next is effect of temperature. See, it is a forward direction is an exothermic reaction. 
Backward direction is an endothermic reaction. So if I increase the temperature, if I increase the temperature, what will happen? It increases the endothermic reaction and it will favor backward direction. If I decrease the temperature, then the forward direction will be favored, which is an exothermic reaction. So for preparation of ammonia, that is, if I want only ammonia to be formed more, what should I do? I should increase the pressure and I should keep the temperature a little lower. Then more of ammonia will be formed. Okay. So that is the effect of all the three on the same reaction that is formation of ammonia I have explained. Next class we'll be studying about ionic equilibrium. Okay. I hope you have understood Lee-Chatelier's principle. Thank you my dear children. Stay tuned. Stay focused.